to growing your own food in your own backyard. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button. I wanna give you an update on both of my lemon trees that I started from seeds. As you can see, I have a tag here that shows both these lemon trees were started at the same time, April 5th, 2019. For some reason, this particular tree turned out to be a runt, but I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna go ahead and keep trying to nurture it. But look at this tree. Isn't it beautiful? It's been repotted at least two or three times. If you check out the card above, you can see where I was um, up potting the, uh, the both lemon trees to bigger pots. Now, one thing I do want to um, share with you is that lemon trees that you grow indoors do require at least 50% humidity. Therefore, I have this one in a humidity tray, which I'm not showing right now because I'm going to have to repot this one. But I do have a floor humidity that I do have among all of my tropical plants to try to duplicate the environment that makes them healthy growing indoors. Now, to keep the air from becoming stagnant, you want to improve air circulation by either A, opening up the windows, or using a fan to create movement. So in my particular environment, I do have to use a fan to create um, air movement so that the trees continue to um, do well in an environment where it's getting humidity, it's um, getting airflow, so the tree is, is moving with the airflow. And when I bring the trees in from outside during the summer months, I wanna make sure that the indoor environment still replicate, replicates the outdoor environment so it doesn't go too much of a, go through too much of a transplant shock and it continues um, to be healthy. You wanna give them plenty of sunlight. Lemon trees love sunlight and they require at least a minimum of eight to 12 hours a day of sunlight to thrive. So I do have my lemon trees grown under a grow light because I have so many plants right now. A lot of my windows are already overtaken by plants. And so in this particular case, both these trees are growing under a grow light. And I do have them on an automatic timer. So they're getting eight to 12 hours a day of grow light and then of course they have rest at night when the um, when the grow lights turn off now this particular lemon tree is root bound and I need to repot it the leaves are yellow and I did a lot of research on what turns um, lemon tree leaves yellow and it seems like I'm doing everything right I just think this particular tree just seems to be a runt it, that I just maybe didn't have a good strong seed, but it, it's, it's growing, it's just not growing as fast. But I do notice that the leaves at the bottom are green. So I am trying to um, fertilize it with all the right nutrients in order to correct this problem right here. So you do want to um, keep their soil evenly moist, like this one here. And you wanna choose a well-draining pot and then you wanna also use a potting mix that's designed for indoor palm or trees or citrus. These mixes do help prevent soggy soil while still uh, retaining their moisture so roots don't get too wet or too dry. You want to fertilize to replace soil nutrients. And I find myself having to feed this particular tree every month to keep it healthy. And God, it has such an aroma coming off this tree. So let's go ahead and get this one repotted. So I'm gonna go ahead and loosen the soil up around the sides. And I did try to wanna, I did wanna dry this soil out so that when I lift this tree up, it, the soil wouldn't fall apart. But, I do believe this particular 
tree is root bound. Let me remove this here. So I'm gonna lay it on its side and gently pull it out. And it's not gonna be the root ball that I'm hoping will come out. But as long as I can keep the roots in place, that will help. Now, the, the soil is falling apart. That's because this soil is, it, it is um, wet. But you can see where the roots were at the bottom. So obviously it is root bound. So I'm gonna try to grab this, set it in like this just like that. And then I want to backfill it with the same soil that came out. And if the soil was a bit drier, it would have came out a lot better. But I don't like these lemon trees to get real dry because they do like moist soil evenly throughout its um, throughout their existence and so I just wanted to make sure that I didn't um, dry it out too much. The, the soil is very moist to the touch so that tells me that it's definitely been growing in really nice evenly moist soil. Okay so I'm back feeling this right now Again, this lemon tree was root bound. So it was best that it was put in a bigger pot. And I also wanted to keep, uh, keep, I want you to keep in mind that lemon trees would rather be outdoors. So as soon as the weather warms up and the nighttime temperature is about 60 degrees, I immediately move them outside. They do have to be acclimated. So around springtime, I put them outside for about eight hours. At night, I'll bring them in. I'll do that for about two weeks because now that the trees are much larger, they can go into shock and I've put in too much energy and time in growing these beautiful trees. So again, I'm giving these trees the same environment as they get outdoors. I have a humidifier that provides them with 50% humidity. This is going to end up now coming off the tabletop and now I'm going to have to put it in this plant stand and now it won't be on a, humidi a humidifier tray anymore because it's much, it's much much bigger. So I would just basically put it right next to this one and um, and grow it like this. So now it's going to get the same humidity using the humidifier as this one. Now I want to show you the um, the uh, fertilizer I do use for the. Um, so I'm using a citrus an avocado plant food and this is what I fertilize both these trees with. I have been concentrating more on the type of nutrients I need to prevent this yellowing in this particular tree but as I said before this started out as a rut. rut. Uh, both seeds came from the same lemon um, I had four lemon seeds that actually, um, th 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 after I soaked them for a couple of days, because that's what you're supposed to do, and I noticed that from day one, this one took off, and as you can see, it's growing beautifully. It did drop its leaves a little bit when it came inside, and it does drop its leaves a little bit when it goes outside, but that's only because it's trying to acclimate. This one here, um, maybe after I've transplanted, Maybe I'll will realize that it can do better and start growing and looking like this. 
but I'm nurturing it. I'm babying it a little bit. We'll see what happens. Now, I do realize that the that you're not going to get true lemons from the plants. And I do understand that new trees won't be the same as the one the seed came from. And I do understand it could be years before I get lemons. So I'm not really expecting lemons from the lemon tree that I started from seed. It's not going to be true to its parent unless it's grafted. However, a lot of lemon trees that, that you can purchase commercially that have been graf grafted will produce lemons a lot sooner, like within a year. And I may consider grafting this particular tree maybe with a Meyer lemon plant or Meyer lemon tree and graft it on this rootstock here to eventually produce lemons. But it's just been fun growing the lemon tree. It has a beautiful aroma right, that comes right off the plant. Again, if it does produce lemons, it'll probably be years before. It'll be a big tree. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to move it uh, be, uh, uh, from outside to indoors. It will, we'll see, this is a new, um, a new project for me. I'm really pleased with the outcome. Um, if it does produce lemons, it will not be the same lemons that it came from the, um, the original uh, plant or the uh, original um, seeds. So I just wanted to give you an update on growing my lemon tree from lemon seeds for the past two years. And they've been up potted maybe two or three times since I've um, started them. This one here is my, it's the, it's the little rut, but that's okay. It'll, we'll see how this one does. Maybe I can, uh, with the nutrients I've been, uh, the additional nutrients I've been adding to this particular one, hopefully I may be able to correct the yellowing in. Because all of the, the um, research I've done, I'm making all these course corrections and it just doesn't seem to be doing well. But nevertheless, it's been um, repotted. The roots now got more space to expand. And I just wanted to share with you how my lemon trees have been doing for the past two years that I grew from seed. If you are growing lemon trees from seeds, let me know. I'd like to hear how your journey's been, what progress is being made, and leave your comments below. And thank you for watching.